Hey YouTube! Today I will be showing you the install procedure of Uberoid 12. It's 1.5.7 kernel and right now you see it's starting to upgrade. To uh, prepare the SD card I uh, use Changer and as extra options I used RT3070 on phone because this tablet is not a phone. Extra mods, uh, the ICS theme I applied, and uh, the second boot animation, ICS2, because that's the one I like the most. Uh, with the previous version, I had some routing problems, so I decided to use uh, the old BusyBox 119, which is it is installing as we speak. All we have to do now is just wait until the screen says to pull the SD. So we will do that. The first boot after flashing is always a bit slower because Android is uh, doing the last things to install apps and such. People reported great N22 benchmark scores on this one and the previous one. They reached a thousand, so that's that makes Uberoy twice as fast as original firmware. It's almost done now. Some little packages to go. Busybox one. 1.9 it says, that doesn't seem right, but we'll see what happens. Nice font also. 8650 tablet you should check uh, www.techno.toxic.nl and the O in toxic is a zero that's HCH home place uh, and almost all questions are answered already over there well the letters turn green please remove SD so where will And reboot. 157. Always a nice thing, nice thing to see. I'm always also interested to see the boot animation because last time I installed I used uh, the I think the zoom zoom one but I'm not sure. I like the spinning tiles. I prefer this one above the X with a million lines. If your tablet stops 
at this point and continues doing this over and over again, you need another changer option. And changer's got a lot of options, so you can find one that works. Also in changer, if you type P2, you go to the next page, and there are some more tablets. It should buzz right about now. Taking a long time. seeing the desktop, if you can call it that, in a few seconds. You can see how busy it's working because the animation is not working. And there it is! Uberoid 12. Touch is working. Then setting up wireless. Won't be showing you my code, of course. Touch panel calibration. Done. Sensor calibration. I don't think it will work, but that would be great. Horizontally and calibrates. Sorry. That's, that was expected. Settings about version hmm. no easter egg the play store and you're gonna count Gonna show you that either. No Antutu. So, by doing this, we created a little cache. And we're gonna erase the cache again. By doing the market fix. To see the complete market, or Play Store I should say. Go to Applications. Uh, 
manage applications. Uh, let's see if it's here. Yeah. We need Google Play Store and Google Services Framework. First off, we're going to Play Store, clear cache, force stop. Then Google Services Framework and clear data. And we really want to clear the data and we force stop. And then we need a reboot. Power off. Yes. Really fast. I'll be putting in my normal SD card and switch it on again. Video is at 10 minutes 55, so we're going to see how long it takes to boot. It'll be around a minute, I guess. Yes. One minute. About a minute twenty twenty five. Keep in mind that this is also the beta release. Well, we have booted up. I really need the power control widget with which I can disable things. Okay. Turning on Wi-Fi. Connecting. And now to do the same test again, we will go to the Play Store and search N22 Benchmark. And there it is. The list has become a lot longer after doing the market fix. Titanium backup, something you might need. Plus a task killer.
Let's see if root access works. Asking root rights. Yeah. That's great. Ninety-eight megabytes available. Well, that's installing Uberoid 12. Thanks for watching.